If there's an ideal time to work abroad, it's now, thanks to the thousands of companies asking their employees to work remotely. Countries around the world have dual goals of bringing in tourism revenue lost during the pandemic and opening their doors wider, inviting remote workers interested in setting up outside their hometown. Many of these regions are experiencing little to no virus outbreaks as well, making them even more alluring to expats. Working in a different country isn't a new tactic for many nomads, but countries such as Barbados and Georgia have recently loosened their visa restrictions to further attract a new batch of digital nomads. The best countries for a digital nomad have a few things in common. The most important one is fast and reliable internet low cost of living, cultural attractions, nice weather, and co-working spaces are highly prized. Best countries for digital nomads is a fast-changing list, but then again, we live in fast-changing times. So here are 10 best countries to live in for digital nomads. Number 10. Hungary Hungary has some of the finest architecture and one of the best public transport networks in Europe. Every summer, digital nomads flock to this country, especially to its capital city, Budapest. The city of Budapest has some of the fastest internet in the world, and Wi-Fi is everywhere. Lots of restaurants, shopping malls, and even some parks have free Wi-Fi. You can rent an apartment in a nice part of town for $600 to $1,000 per month, while you may be able to rent a room in an apartment for around $200 per month. Public transport is widely available in the city and is a cheap way of getting around the city. And as a member state of the European Union, Schengen visa rules apply. European citizens can stay in Hungary as a tourist or to work for 90 days out of 180, while citizens from the United States and Canada can stay in Hungary for up to 90 days. Number 9. Chile this country is known for being safe for travelers and digital nomads. In fact, it's thought to be one of the safest countries in South America. However, as when traveling to any big city, keep your wits about you. Most digital nomads in Chile gravitate towards its capital city, Santiago. This sprawling city is home to around 6 million people and is considered the hub of South America. There are nomad communities throughout Chile made possible by the fast internet throughout the country. It's not only the big cities offering offices to nomads, even some tiny, out-of-the-way towns have co-working hubs. Expect to pay at least $750 for an apartment in one of the nice parts of Santiago. And as far as the visa goes, Chile gives a 90-day visa, which can be extended for a small fee. Number 8. Czech Republic with the low cost of living and fast Wi-Fi, the Czech Republic in general is a great option for digital nomads, and its capital city Prague has recently become one of the top digital nomad destinations thanks to its excellent transport, culture, and international links. It's in the Schengen area of the European Union, so European nomads won't need a visa to stay there. With relatively low living costs, plenty of nightlife, and beautiful architecture, Prague is a rising star in the digital nomad scene and a great choice for remote workers looking for culture and walkability. But the cost of living in Prague has risen somewhat, so the average cost of an Airbnb apartment for a month is around $1,500, although you can find gorgeous Airbnb rentals for around $1,000 if you avoid peak tourist season. Number 7. Thailand The legendarily low cost of living, combined with hot weather, have made Thailand a favorite with expats over the last few decades. Digital nomads are now making the same trip and working online from Thailand. Internet coverage is strong through most of Thailand. If you are based in one of the big cities, you can work easily from any number of places. Free Wi-Fi is common in most of the cafes and restaurants in the city. The type of experience you will have in Thailand will depend on that city you choose to reside. Thailand has something for everyone. Whatever you want from your stay, you'll be able to find it. The city of Chiang Mai regularly finishes top on the list for having best digital nomad communities in the world. Number 6. Taiwan 
Taiwan may be one of the potential winners of attracting the new remote workers. Geographically close to business hubs and boasting affordable costs of living, Taiwan is suited to be a home base for many white-collar professionals seeking a place to work without breaking the bank. Taiwan is highly urbanized, close to 80% of the population live in cities. The biggest city of Taiwan is Taipei. It is one of the safest digital nomad destinations, even though it's a 24-hour city and always on the move. Accommodation in the city is a bit expensive compared to other living expenses, but that doesn't change the fact that it's quickly becoming more well-known between digital nomads and expats. Number 5. Estonia this digital nomad hub offers e-residency, making it easy to start your business and feel welcomed. It's so welcoming that it has plans to be the first country to provide a digital nomad visa. This visa would enable digital nomads to work and travel in Estonia for up to one year, and it would also give digital nomads access to the Schengen area, allowing them to travel to other EU member states for up to 90 days. Estonia's capital, Tallinn, is becoming more and more popular in startup and digital nomad world, and it has a big base of tech digital nomads gathering professionals from all over the world. You have the free Wi-Fi coverage at most of the places, and the cost of living is average. Number 4. Vietnam if you are looking for an exotic location for living your digital nomad lifestyle but you travel on a low budget, Vietnam with its increasing popularity is a place to go. Depending on your preferences, you can choose whether you want to experience a big city or live more locally. It is one of the cheapest destinations for digital nomads. You can rent a high-end apartment for $700 US per month. A nice apartment in a safe area of the city can be had for as little as $300 US per month. Most apartments are furnished and rental properties are easy to find from the street. The country also offers a one-year tourist visa that can cost up to $500 US once you have paid the agency fee. Otherwise, you can stay for three months. Number 3. Barbados Barbados hasn't always been on the radar for digital nomads, but due to the pandemic travel restrictions and the introduction of the Barbados Welcome Stamp, it's becoming more of a viable option. The Barbados Welcome Stamp is a 12-month visa that costs $2,000. It takes 10 minutes to apply and they offer options for families too. About 3,000 people, mainly from the US, Canada and the UK, have taken it up so far. But many more have arrived to do the same thing on tourist visas, lasting up to six months. The country also has one of the healthiest, most well-educated populations in the Caribbean. Number 2. Indonesia Indonesia, and especially Bali, is arguably the most popular digital nomad destination in the world. Most cafes and hostels have Wi-Fi, but house and co-working spaces are usually equipped with fiber-optic broadband. Indonesia is one of the most iconic countries for digital nomads. You can rent a luxurious two-bedroom house for under $900 US per month. A more basic two-bedroom house will cost around $300 US per month. If you aren't planning on a long stay, a 60-day tourist visa is your best bet, which costs around $35. Expats looking to stay longer usually go for the remote workers visa, essentially a six-month visa. Number 1. Georgia Home to Caucasus mountain villages, Black Sea beaches, and a massive cave monastery dating to the 12th century, Georgia is an unlikely European country to participate in these digital nomad programs. But since mid-2020, when its Remotely from Georgia program launched, thousands of applicants have sought to relocate themselves to the country. Nomads have to prove they are earning a minimum monthly salary of $1,000 and agree to take part in a 14-day quarantine in a hotel at their own expense upon entering the region. It is also a very safe and cheap country for expats. A monthly budget of $1,000 is enough for a couple to live in Georgia with all basic amenities and internet. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more amazing content.